Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I am going to teach you how to remove backgrounds without using Photoshop. And I believe it is going to be really simple, really easy. If you have all the default Mac programs, you should be able to do this. The program I'll be using is called Preview. Right down here at the bottom of the screen, Preview. I'm going to remove the green from this sniper scope. So let's get started here. I'm going to right click on the image I wish to key out, go to open with, and select preview. And there you go. Now the tool we will be using is this instant alpha tool. Now some people when they open preview, their preview window is like this big. And as you can see the instant alpha tool is not on there. So make sure you expand the window as big as you can, even if your image is not that big. That way you can actually see your select tool. So click on it and click on Instant Alpha. What you're going to do is click on the colors you don't like. The way I do this is I single click and hold down the mouse button. What is expected to be highlighted gets highlighted a slightly different color. You can keep dragging the mouse bar around and highlight more and more stuff. Basically, you are toggling the threshold as you hold down the mouse button. Since I did a pretty good job and have one solid green color, I don't need to toggle with the threshold that much. So I'm going to highlight the green, press delete. It might appear gray, it might appear dotted, depends on what version or update of preview you have. But as long as it changed color, you should be good. So let's go through this one more time. I'm going to hold down the mouse button. going to click, hold it down, scroll to the side until I just reach the threshold. And then I'm going to ease back a little bit. Then hit delete. You see that? Very simple. So I'm going to do this for each section. Hold down the mouse button, drag it until I surpass the threshold, and then ease back. Press delete. I'm going to do this for every section in my sniper scope. Now, let's say I deleted all of it. This is how you would save it to retain the clear background. File, save as. I'm going to just save it on the desktop, and let's uh, type in some random names. Format, make sure you are selecting .png, not the others. Make sure the alpha box is checked. You want to check it. Once you have that checked, click Save. Now let's go check how our image turned out. The way I check is I make sure I'm in finder mode on my Mac. What I mean by finder mode is in this top corner here it says finder. And with the default shortcut keys I just hit the space bar on the image I'm looking at. It'll pop up and there you go. So you can see the green that I chose to keep stayed and the green that I chose to delete went away and is now a clear background. You can clearly see Tamriel right in the back. Right there. So this is how to remove backgrounds from pictures without using Photoshop. The reason why I still did the Photoshop tutorial is Photoshop is a lot more accurate. You can be a lot more precise and actually a lot of people do have it. However, if you're only going to be using Photoshop to remove backgrounds, save your money for a movie editing program and just use Preview to make your own pictures with a clear background. Now this is pretty simple. I did it using contrasting colors with green and black, highly contrasting colors. It can be a lot trickier when the colors are a lot more similar, especially when you start dealing with people's hair. It can be really tricky, so it's more for simple stuff. If you want the completed sniper scope, remember that's on my photo bucket account, that's on my YouTube channel. Check out my other videos, I'm sure there's a lot more tips that I can help you out with. 
So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.